In this video, we're going to create several exhibit tables and chairs in the Paris foyer. Let's start by using the Create Event Seating command to quickly find and customize a table and chair symbol to use for our exhibit tables. In the Navigation palette, switch to the Design Layers tab, right-click or Control-click below the Design Layer list, and choose New. Name the new design layer, Foyer, and click OK. In the Basic palette, activate the Rectangle tool and draw a large rectangle to the left of the Paris Foyer. With the rectangle selected, go to the Event Design menu and choose Create Event Seating. Click on the Seating Symbol thumbnail, choose the Table 5 foot by 2 and a half foot and Chairs dash 2 symbol, and then click Customize Symbol. Set the Render Mode to OpenGL in the Customize Symbol dialog. Then under Chair Attributes, click on the Texture thumbnail and choose Textile Upholstery Dark RT. Under the Table Attributes, set the Fill Color to a Tan Color, and then the Texture to Textile Hopsack Tan RT. Click OK, and then click Automatically Focus. We now have a customized version of the table 5 foot by 2 and a half foot in chairs dash 2 symbol in our file. We no longer need this seating layout, so you can delete it now. Next, we will access the customized symbol through the resource browser. Then we will place and duplicate the symbol around the room. In the resource browser, click on the Home button to make sure we are looking at the active document. Then scroll down to the Symbols Plugin Objects section and double click on the customized symbol. Move your cursor to the, the top left corner of the Paris foyer. Snap to the top left inside corner of the Paris foyer walls and click once. Move your cursor up vertically and click a second time to set the rotation and place the symbol. With the symbol selected, go to the Modify menu and then under Move, choose Move. Set the X offset to 5 feet and the Y offset to negative 20 feet, and then click OK. Next, activate the Move by Points tool in the Basic palette. Make sure the Move and Object Retention modes are active, and set the number of duplicates to 5. Click once on the bottom midpoint of the symbol, Move down vertically and press the Tab key to enter the floating data bar. Set the length to 7 feet and press Enter or Return twice to duplicate the symbol. Make sure all six of the symbols are selected, then activate the Mirror tool in the Basic palette. Use the midpoint of the bottom left door to set the mirror axis and duplicate these symbols to the other side of the foyer. Select all 12 of the symbols. Then, in the Object Info palette, click on the Class pop-up menu and choose New Class. Name this class Furniture and click OK. Now we will use the Table and Chairs tool from the Furniture Fixtures toolset to create tall bar tables. Switch to the Furniture Fixtures toolset in the Toolsets palette. Activate the Table and Chairs tool. Click on the Preferences button in the toolbar. In the Object Properties dialog, set the length and width to 3 feet, then set the shape to oval and click OK. Using Smart Points, find the midpoint between the bottom midpoint of the first table on the left and the top midpoint of the second table on the left. Press the G key to create a datum point. Tab into the floating data bar and then set the length field to 5 feet and press tab again. Move your cursor to the right horizontally until you intersect the dotted red extension line and double click to place the table and chairs. Let's take a look at the table and chairs in 3D. Switch to a right isometric view and render in OpenGL. Now use the flyover tool to center your view on the table and chairs. Set the height to 4 feet in the Object Info palette. For chair type, choose None. 
Then for leg shape, choose pedestal. In the attributes palette, go ahead and give this object a black fill color. We now have a tall, round bar table. So let's use the create similar object command to place a few more around the room. Switch back to a top plan view. Right click on the bar table and choose create similar object. Dismiss the did you know dialog. This command will activate the tool used to create this object and apply the same settings we used previously. Using smart points again, find the midpoint between the bottom midpoint of the second table on the right and the top midpoint of the third table on the right. Use the G key again to place a datum and then use the floating data bar uh, to set a five foot offset and place another table. Use the previous techniques to place three more tables. Finally, we will use the resource browser again to access the Vectorworks libraries and place a couple of chair and table symbols. In the resource browser, click on the Files pop-up menu and choose Vectorworks libraries. Navigate to the Objects-Building Equipment and Furnishings folder Choose the Furniture Gersberger Lounge Furniture file and click Open. In the resource browser, locate the Gersberger Lounge Furniture Ateja Armchair S symbol. Double click on the symbol to make it the active symbol. Place two instances of this symbol in the bottom left corner of the foyer as shown. Now go back to the resource browser and locate the Gersberger Lounge Furniture Jack Table and place it between the two chairs as shown. Now select the Gersberger Chairs and Table as well as the five bar tables. Then in the Object Info Palette, click on the Class pop-up menu and choose the Furniture Class. Finally, switch to a right isometric view and then render an OpenGL. Use the flyover tool to view the furniture. Switch back to a top plan view when you're finished.